I've been really busy around the uh, Cat's Pit Productions Phoenix storefront here, putting together equipment, um, you know, doing office work, and uh, trying to do a lot of different things online. Um, and so, you know, I had a video today that I was going to do, but it, I don't know, I didn't like it. And I have to make some screens, or, yeah, well, actually, I do have to make some screens, plural, but one in particular for the uh, Bella Canvas shirt. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm actually just walking around with the camera like this, and um, I got to look and check to see if uh, we have a screen in here in the box. So I'm going to turn the lights out for a second here, and, you know, I don't know what the camera will do. It, it doesn't like to focus very well lately, but I think this is it here. I can tell by touching. Ooh, it's a 160. So that should work. It's white mesh and it's smooth. So that's a white, got to be a 160. That should be good. Okay, so yeah, this is what happens when you don't take care of your film. I must look like some kind of shadow here. Woo! And uh, I got to reprint the film because it's just not worth taking a chance. The film is kind of, it, it's a little dirty and it has a couple spots on it that I have to, I don't like. And to waste a screen that is perfectly good is not worth it. So I'm going to go try to find the file and it's going to take me a moment to figure it out because I had a computer go down and that was the way I was doing my film and it was probably all set up on that computer to print very easily. Now I have to find it and see, you know, and reprint the film. So take care of your films when you know that you're going to use them again. This is my sophisticated film storage system right here. Yeah, that's not how you do it. Okay, so uh, let's try this again. Now I have film that's already on the screen in here ready to go um, because I, you know, evidently I tried to shoot this video without the cameras on and uh, it'll be shorter this way anyway. So let's try this out. Yeah, I listen to a lot of retro type stuff. Uh, I like Wolf Mother and White Stripes are awesome. Um, uh, Royal Blood is pretty cool too, the, that new kind of bass and drummer setup they got. Um, but uh, yeah, <clears throat> if you're in the Phoenix area, I actually have a used four color four station P4400 on a stand. You know, so that's here at a used discounted price. And then, of course, we have some new presses here. And I think next week I have a, uh, I think it's a four color two station coming in used and a, a, a tabletop exposure unit and a flash cure, which will all be, you know, at reduced pricing. So sometimes it's worth coming in if you're in the Phoenix area, come into the storefront and see. You know, I, I might have some used Ranar equipment, you know? And of course, I always have new equipment, of course. Yeah, so I was just, um, the reason why this is here, the reason why this is here is because I was burning off the moisture and oil and stuff, and, uh, I want to make a couple of videos with water-based ink and stuff, and so I'm hoping to do that real soon. All right, so here's a little behind the scenes for you. Nobody really realizes this because, you know, but I have this little mirror and comb here <laughs> so that I can, uh, check myself out before I shoot a video. Jamming out music that I can't let you hear, otherwise YouTube will copyright me. Infringement! 
I don't know, but maybe many of you have not seen the little stop action video that I did with the Lego screen printing shop that I built. This is the world's first and probably the world's only Lego screen printing shop. You can see it as a press, a flash cure, and a belt dryer. Okay, and if you look at my YouTube channel, the videos, there is a black and white stop action video, about 15 seconds I did with this. Now I'm gonna have to compare my screen to the film positive because I probably will have to make an adjustment to the exposure to get all the dot on there because I, you know, I should have kept the screen that I made initially when I printed that the first time, but you know how it is. I thought it was gonna be a limited edition, dude. <laughs> but you know, everybody likes that a lot. So that's Amal Muhammad's artwork. So I gotta do it again. I'm gonna make the screen again and you know, keep it. And uh, So we'll take a look at that and see if it passes muster. Mom always said, coat more screens than you actually need. Because if you screw up, then you always have them to make right after. And you don't have to stop to coat new screens. Yeah, so I looked at that compared to the film, and I lost some fine dot down at the bottom, just like I did the first time when I did this screen. And, you know, you kind of got to adjust the exposure time to get all those nice details and stuff. So I'm going to have to coat a couple more screens, and uh, I'll do this again. And uh, we'll get ready to print those freebie Bella shirts. See? See? You get distracted on the phone and then you leave the video lights on and stuff. I wear a lot of different hats here at Cat Spit Productions and I have to do some courting or, you know, do some containers for chemicals and quartz. You could probably barely see me back here in all this mess, but the first thing I honestly have to do is clean up and stop giving free, free uh, plugs to companies like that. <laughs> Walk like an Egyptian. Remember that old song, Walk Like an Egyptian? Well, you know, after you've been making videos for like nine, ten years or whatever it's been, I don't even know. It's been a long time, since 2009, right? Well, I've noticed that, you know, I walk like an ape. <laughs> oh man, that was funny. I was going to reshoot that, but when I came over here and saw what I knocked down and, you know, um, <laughs> it made me laugh, <clears throat> pardon me, it gave me a good laugh, so I figured I would include it, but I, I broke a bulb when I tossed that box off. Here's the shirts from Bella Canvas, and uh, these are the freebie shirts we're going to do. I'm trying to get that screen ready so I can print these, so there's a stack of three boxes here. Bella Canvas sent us some really nice shirts, so we're going to get these ready. That's what the screen's for. And uh, so, you know, the shop is a mess. I really got to get to work back here and get cleaned up and uh, ready for more students and all that stuff. Look at this. Is this like um, shooting into infinity when we do this? Camera to camera, infinity and beyond. <laughs> all right, so yeah, it's been a lot of fun messing around here yesterday and today, uh, you know, shooting this video, trying to make screens and stuff and get ready for the freebie print run to do those Bella Canvas shirts that we're gonna give away for free. Thanks to Bella Canvas for, you know, sending us those shirts. That'll be pretty cool. So I better get back to work. I gotta uh, edit this video and stuff and, you know, get back to work.